the Ice Age, a world where only the strongest survive. Two species of human, both fighting for dominance on a frozen earth. One is sharp, adaptive, and new. The other, ancient, strong, and unyielding. The first encounter between Homo sapiens and Neanderthals is about to change everything. A battle for survival, for resources, for the future of humanity. Will the new breed outsmart the old, or will strength and power win the day? The fate of two worlds, one species will rise and one will fall. Around 300,000 years ago, in the heart of Africa, Homo sapiens first emerged. Armed with intelligence and adaptability, our ancestors began to spread across the planet. But they weren't alone. For tens of thousands of years, another human species, Neanderthals, had dominated the cold lands of Europe and Asia. Homo sapiens are not the only humans in this world. Neanderthals have a distinct presence, robust, with powerful builds, capable of surviving in one of the harshest climates ever known. They've lived in Europe for over 200,000 years, perfecting their tools, adapting to the frozen wilderness. But now, Homo sapiens are beginning to push out of Africa, moving into the territories once dominated by Neanderthals. As the two species draw closer, their fate is intertwined. The struggle for survival is constant. Both Homo sapiens and Neanderthals depend on the same resources food, shelter, and the tools to survive the harsh cold. The mammoths, reindeer, and wild horses are the prize. But there's a deeper battle at play, competition for the future itself. Homo sapiens have a technological advantage. Their tools, though made of stone, are specialized and finely crafted. Archaeological evidence, like the Schöningen spears in Germany, shows that Homo sapiens developed long, effective weapons designed for throwing. Meanwhile, Neanderthals, though physically stronger, rely on tools like the Mysterian stone tools, excellent for close combat, but less suited for long-range hunting. Homo sapiens are not just stronger in tools, they are stronger in their social structure. Evidence from archaeological sites like Peche de la Zé suggests early humans worked together in organized hunting parties, making them far more effective in securing food. Neanderthals, though impressive hunters, they are less cooperative. As the two species share the same territory, the pressure grows. Food is scarce, the cold intensifies. Violence is inevitable. The first clashes are violent. Neanderthals, large and powerful, engaging with Homo sapiens, who fight with strategy and coordination. In the archaeological record, we find evidence of trauma on Neanderthal bones, signs of violent encounters, perhaps with Homo sapiens. But these battles are not always clear-cut. Neanderthals are formidable opponents, but Homo sapiens have an advantage in terms of social cooperation and the use of advanced tools between these two species were not always straightforward. Sometimes, they simply avoided each other. Both sides understood the delicate balance required for survival. And yet, as the years went on, Homo sapiens' ability to adapt, to work together, began to tip the scales. But not all encounters were violent. Some were peaceful. The evidence is clear. Homo sapiens and Neanderthals did not just clash, they communicated, interacted, and even exchanged ideas and resources. Fossils found in Gibraltar show Neanderthals using shells as tools, possibly inspired by the behavior of Homo sapiens. Trade, exchanges, and even alliances may have occurred. Though their interactions were likely complex, with occasional conflicts, Homo sapiens and Neanderthals weren't constantly at war. Evidence suggests they shared space, perhaps even cooperating at times. But the most surprising discovery came when we realized something truly remarkable. In recent years, genetic evidence has revealed that Homo sapiens and Neanderthals weren't just neighbors, they were lovers. 
Interbreeding between the two species took place over thousands of years. In fact, modern humans carry traces of Neanderthal DNA in their genomes. Studies from the Neanderthal Genome Project have shown that non-African humans today carry between 1 to 2 percent Neanderthal DNA. This genetic legacy is more than just a reminder. It's a testament to the interconnections between these two species. Neanderthal DNA contributes to our immune system, our skin pigmentation, and even how we process certain diseases. In a way, the Neanderthals still live within us today. Despite their strength, Neanderthals began to fade. The climate shifted, and Homo sapiens' ability to adapt gave them an edge. By around 40,000 years ago, the Neanderthal lineage was gone. Extinct, but not forgotten. The Neanderthals did not disappear without leaving a mark. Their legacy lives on in us. Their genes are etched into the very fabric of modern humans, a silent reminder of the struggles, the triumphs, and the shared history between two species that once coexisted on this planet. The story of Homo sapiens and Neanderthals is not just a tale of survival. It's a story of connection, of shared history, and of adaptation. Our existence today is shaped by both our victories and the ancient bonds we formed with those who came before us. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time. If you enjoyed this exploration of our ancient past, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think? Did Homo sapiens truly win, or did we all shape the future together?